Okay, I wanted to do a video about Thai wildlife, Thailand wildlife. And I don't know it all, of course, but I've been here for, I've been in the country for 10 years, but I've been looking for snakes, uh, especially for the past eight years. And so in looking for snakes, I find a lot of other wildlife as well. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is monkeys, because, you know, Tourists that come here, they're all excited about seeing the monkeys. And uh, to me, monkeys are the worst things in the world. They're like rats, you know, with arms. And uh, I can't stand the monkeys. Here's why I can't stand them. Because they're temperamental. I see monkeys almost every day when I go to the temple uh, here. Uh, sometimes the monkeys are in a fairly okay mood. It really depends. I mean, it depends on a lot of things. Depends on the presence of the males. Depends are the males pissed off. You know the bigger males. It depends. Uh, are they extremely hungry? Have they been eating enough? Are there leaves in the trees that they they like or not? Um, depends on whether they have uh, young or not babies. When they have babies, man, you have to be very careful because yeah, the babies are cute, but you, you make one wrong move, like you get between the mother and the baby or the get. I think you can also, if you get between the male and the babies, the males get freaked out and they'll run over and bite your leg. And I've seen that a couple times and it's horrible. I've seen them bite the calf of, of a leg and uh, oh, it's horrible, deep bites. You know, they have fangs in the front that are like this long and thick. Their jaws are really strong. And uh, yeah, so I saw a kid get attacked by monkeys, by many monkeys, and, and got tore up like in a number of places. And then I saw a Thai boy get bit like into the calf, like sunk in. Oh man, <laughs> it's a horrible thing. So monkeys, I would stay away from. Don't touch them, don't encourage them, don't feed them. Let them eat the leaves on the trees, that's what they're supposed to eat. At the temples, they're like, now they just open up a little store to sell bananas for monkeys. And, and they, they see how many people get bit by the uh, monkeys at the temples. Apparently, that's not enough for them, you know? They're not making much off selling bananas at the, at the little store, but I guess they do it because they think tourists want to do it. And please stay away from the monkeys. They have ticks, you know? You, even though I don't touch the monkeys ever, just because I'm holding the railing of the temple as I walk up the steps, sometimes I get a tick on me and it'll bury itself in, in my skin. Those things have diseases like you wouldn't believe. It's, uh, monkeys are, are disgusting to me. Uh, you don't want to fight with a monkey because the whole troop will, will join in, you know? Uh, they take it as, you know, if you, if you kick one, the whole, the whole group gets pissed off and they're on you like in a second. So don't ever do that either. Just stay away from them. Sometimes you can swing a stick, like a bamboo stick. You see the nuns doing it at the temples. And the monkeys will respect that if they're the females and the small ones. The big ones will grab the stick and you'll be fighting. You, you don't want to fight with the males. So anyway, monkeys, stay the hell away from the monkeys, please. Uh, what I really know are snakes. And um, there are 200, about 200 species of snake in Thailand. And um, about 70 of them are venomous. That's changing all the time because really there's more that are venomous. Just about any colubrid with rear fangs is also venomous. But it's very hard for a rear fanged snake to get, get the fangs into you and chew in the venom, you know? Um, they can do it with prey that they grab, but uh, to do it with, you know, your arm is very tough for them to get the, the whole jaws around and then chew in the venom enough that it affects you. But it does happen and, and you don't want to get bit by any snake. When I go hunting snakes, I call it hunting, but I'm looking for them to take photos and videos. Um, I am very cautious, you know? I don't pick up a snake by the head for any reason. What the hell do I need to grab its head for? You know, and all these amateur, entrepre amateur yeah, entrepreneurs, I'm too much into my other side. Uh, all of these amateur enthusiasts, you know, snake enthusiasts, think they have to grab the snake by the head for some reason to hold it and look at it and stuff, but... You know, to me that's that's silly. That's uh, that's going well beyond what I need to do to get photos and videos. So I don't do that. Um, I know plenty of people that have been bitten by um, non-venomous snakes, myself included, many times. I'd say I don't know, eighty times maybe. And I had no effects, but 
um, at times, I mean, you could be allergic to the venom and then, I mean, you could be on life support before you know it. You have to be careful. Snakes, even rat snakes that are said to have no venom at all, have venom. It's in, it's in their saliva. Venom uh, compounds are in the saliva and can be transmitted into your skin if, with a good bite. Rat snakes have really small teeth, but and it's hard for the venom to get in there, so nobody has ever really had a reaction to it. But they do have strong venom, and it, and it, um, it does act on prey as they, as they chew it and as they eat it. Uh, there are a bunch of snakes that you, you should be careful about, but I probably if you'll see them, um, you will be careful because it's going to hood up like this. You know, the cobras are very easy to tell what it is. Um, don't mess with any cobra. Some of the cobras spit venom. They can spray it like in a fine spray and it goes two, three meters. If the wind's blowing behind, it can go five, six meters, you know, so you, you don't want to mess with any cobra that hoods up like this or that doesn't. Um, cobras have to hood up in order to bite, but a cobra can be on the ground like this, hood like this, just barely, you know, and grab your foot. This happened to a guy, uh, owned a um, bungalow down at the beach. He died after they amputated up to his knee, then they amputated up to his hip, and then he just died anyway. Um, that was a Thai guy, that was a couple years ago, and I talked to his wife and got the story first time. Um, king cobras, you'll probably never see one, but if you do, you certainly wouldn't walk up and grab it because they're just too big and too, too menacing looking. Um, Crates are out at night. So cobras, cobras are during the day for the most part. Monaco cobras, spitting cobras, and uh, king cobras are during the day, sometimes at night. Uh, crates are the, the black and white bands, thick bands like this, typically, um, or yellow and black bands. And they have a triangle cross section like this, like vertebrae up here, belly down here. Uh, they are active usually at night. Usually they're looking for rats or other snakes. Um, the banded crates will even eat other vipers. The two main snakes that you really have to worry about in all of Thailand are two vipers. These snakes are the one, the Siamese, uh, I'm sorry, the Russell's viper, um, also known as the chain viper. This one kills more people than any other snake in the whole world because it's so prevalent all over the world that uh, the deaths that it causes are probably the most, you know, of any snake in the whole world. So that one is only found in Thailand near Bangkok and Pattaya in that in a little region right there. You may find them elsewhere, but not as much. They're really concentrated in that area. Um, so that's in a way it's a good thing because it's not spread out all over Thailand, right? Like it is in, in other countries like India. Uh, they have a lot of deaths from that snake. It's a, um, it's a thick viper when it gets to be adult. It could be, it could be a meter long or so. It has real big fangs. If you ever go to the Sao Vabha snake farm in Bangkok, it's the Red Cross snake farm, you know, by uh, Chula Longkorn uh, University. But you can see they have a uh, they have skeletons of the snakes and the, and the teeth, and you can see the fangs on that, that viper are massive. They're the biggest in Thailand for sure. Um, anyway, that snake has a very strong venom, and the venom is um, coagulates blood, so it bites and then it starts to stop up all the blood in different places. When the blood stops up, I mean, organs die and stuff, so uh, that's, a, that's a very dangerous snake. Uh, again, it's found in the daytime. It's found uh, in the forest usually, and probably it's looking for rodents um, primarily to eat warm blooded that it can sense with the heat sensor and bite. Uh, those snakes bite very fast. Uh, all vipers can bite like bing, like sense the heat and, and grab it like immediately. You can't even react, there would be no way. Um, the other snake is uh, very similar to this, but brown color usually, dark brown with some triangles on the top, on the back, that you can see pretty, pretty clearly. Uh, that snake, usually when you see it, it'll be coiled up because it's just resting, so it'll be coiled in like concentric circles. And uh, it's very dangerous because, just like the other viper, it doesn't move whenever you walk toward it. 
So you know how every other snake, if it senses somebody coming, it, they disappear. You can't even see them. Uh, these these two vipers just stay where they are for some some dumb reason, and you'll walk right on it. You'll walk right beside it or step on it, and uh, and then it'll bite. Chances are it'll bite. Now, if it bites, not every bite is venomous. Even though it's a deadly snake, uh, the snake when it bites, it may be just biting, and then it's it's thinking bite and go, you know, bite and run. And when it does that, it's not going to inject, you know, either a lot of venom or maybe nothing. It may, it may be a dry bite. So, not every bite is venomous. Uh, maybe 50% of the Malayan pit vipers' bites are venomous. And I think that was just when they were testing it, when they, they put a fake shoe on, like stepping on, on the snake, and then 50% of those bites when it bit were venomous. So, I think that's how it was tested. Um, that snake's pretty much everywhere in Thailand, and it's... Not many people die from it. The people that die are the ones that don't go to a hospital and they do like, they rub leaves on it or something, or some salve or something that some medicine man told them is going to make it feel better. So, uh, be, be careful. If you do get bit by a snake, go to the hospital anyway and just wait for symptoms because it could be some symptoms. The coral snakes, some of them don't look very, very dangerous. The belly's red oftentimes, but, uh, the coral snakes, you know, you might get bit by that slight chance, but uh, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't uh, feel anything for a long time, maybe never, but uh, the venom is working its way through your system. Uh, so there's many other snakes. Most of the other snakes are pretty harmless. Uh, vipers are the green ones that stay in the bushes um, or on, on rocks or something, and they just sit there and wait for something to come by, like a bird or something. Um, I have a free snake book on thailandsnakes.com. You can get that. It's a PDF format and also good for an iPad and um, iPhone. It's a free book called um, Photos of Common Thailand Snakes uh, with my name on it. And you can download it for free. It's, there's no charge, but you have to give, my, give me your uh, email address. And I don't email you often at all. So we've had a couple thousand people download that book. That's been pretty cool. Um, other things in Thailand, wildlife, bugs, the things to be aware of really are the centipedes. They can come, they like damp and warm environments. So uh, you'll find them other, under things where there tends to be a little bit wetter than other places. You'll find them on your porch and your garage. Uh, you'll find them under leaves and things like that. You'll find them at night, they really cruise around looking for things, and they'll eat just about anything, you know, they suck, the, they suck the juices from things. So when they bite, it's two prongs, like from the side of the head, from the front of the head, and they, they pinch, you know, but they inject venom as well. And uh, it really hurts, <laughs> it hurts quite a bit. Um, so be aware of those, uh, be aware of if your kid is playing in the grass or something, even during the daytime or nighttime, it's, um, they can, it can be out. Um, I've seen them in the middle of the day in the forest, um, just cruising around. I see them mostly at night, so I think they're mostly night, night type bugs. I'm not an expert on those. Um, other bugs that you really have to watch are bees. You know, if you're in the forest and you're running or something, uh, bees. Uh, the bees here, if you, if you kill one, like we kill them on a porch, bang, there's like 10 or 15 of them that come because they smell the um, pheromone or hormone or something was released whenever that whenever I smack that, that bee dead, and uh, all the bees come, you know, to check out what the hell's going on, what's the danger, because, uh, you know, they're ready to attack, so we have to, we have to lock the front screen and everything. So you don't want to do that, I don't think. Um, especially in the forest, you don't want to kill a bee. I did that at the top of a mountain one time, and that was a real bad move, because I, I had a bunch of bees around me, and I was just moving slow, trying to get back down on the trail, so they, they leave me alone, and luckily they did. But uh, even if you are, are uh, aggressive toward the bee, you know, swinging something at them, you know, like this, they release the, the, the hormone into the air and then more bees come. So you don't even want to do that. Uh, that's it. Bees are, are a problem like way in the forest typically, or, or if you see them around somewhere, just don't mess with them. Monks have been killed by bees recently, a couple different monks. Um, so it happens. Um, other bugs, mosquitoes, of course, you know, we have every kind of disease here for mosquitoes. 
and I've had a couple of them. I've had uh, dengue fever and also uh, chikungunya, and neither one are very fun, but if you're in good health and stuff, you'll, you'll get through it. Uh, but kids and, and elderly people, you know, and, and weak people in general, if you're just weak and not in shape, and you know, uh, you'll be more affected by, by things like that. So be very careful. Um, I use a I use a mosquito repellent with deep fifty or so, if if I need to. I don't I don't like to use it, you know, but I'll spray my legs in a restaurant or something if there's too many mosquitoes. Scorpions, uh, there's something like seven or eight or nine types of scorpion here species, and I've seen a couple of them. Um, the big emperor scorpions, the black ones, I think they're emperors. Um, when they bite, it hurts a little bit, but it's like a bee sting. It's not going to kill you, you know. So when you see the lady with 75 scorpions all over her body, they don't really bite either, unless you really piss them off. I think, uh, grab them the wrong way or something. Um, so yeah, don't mess with the scorpions. They can bite. None of them are supposed to be deadly in Thailand. However, you can be allergic to the venom, just like snakes or anything else, bees, and uh, you could die from it, you know, theoretically. Tarantulas, uh, we've seen a bunch of these in our house, um, usually outside the house, mm, usually at night, and uh, I don't know, I've never been bitten by them, but they, are, they can be aggressive, uh, I don't know, just leave them alone. Uh, the big huntsman spiders that you see like on the wall, you see them like stationary on the wall, and then if you go toward it, it goes, bah, 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 bah. like when it runs, it's so funny, but it's fast, you know, but its legs are trying to all struggle to to make it move across the wall and into this end of the floor or whatever. But uh, yeah, those are kind of scary looking. They're, they're basically harmless, but uh, nobody wants them in the house. Usually I just kill those. I don't like to kill things, but uh, they're too hard to catch nicely. You know, if you try to catch it, you might break its leg anyway. You might, you might as well kill it, I think. So I tend to kill those. That's one of the few things that I, that I do kill. Uh, that's all I have on the sheet. What do I have here? Monkey snakes, cobra snake, centipedes. Yeah, I think I covered just what I know. I mean, I don't know all that much. But um, those are the things that I have uh, had trouble with here. Uh, there's also box jellyfish uh, in Phuket and Krabi and Trong. So you have to be careful of those. Um, Bosch jellyfish are nothing to mess with. I was I was stung by one in Maui, Hawaii, and uh, ooh, <laughs> I was sure I was going to die. I was absolutely sure I was going to die. Um, but that's a different story. All right. I hope that helps somebody. And uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to keep doing like series like this for things. It's kind of like Thailand fact or something. Because um, I have a whole lot of articles written on my websites. You know, th literally thousands of articles. But I'm going to pick the best ones and I'm going to do a video about it too because I think a lot of people don't read the, a lot of people don't read anymore, but a lot of people don't read the website. They don't find it. So, all right. Hope that helps. Cheers.